What's up, Strito? We're back here with Dag and Rumpa. Now, uh, if you haven't already seen the rest of my playthrough, there'll be a playlist linked in the description uh, with the rest of the playlist. So yeah, let's just get into this. But if one of them dies, does the other one become a blackened? Because they didn't really... It wouldn't make sense for either of them to be black and if the other died because they didn't kill the other one they just took a competition just a little too far warning huh may mondo and taka survived what about the two of them i heard to the dining hall more quickly than usual and when i entered <laughs> what are you talking about bro what are you talking about bro what? Hey, Makoto. Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Are they friends now? They've been talking like this all morning. They're all buddy buddy as soon as we walked in. It feels gross. Feels gross? Hell no. It feels great, more like. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. <laughs> Friendship between men is stronger than a blood. A woman can never understand. Right. What you said, or what you just said, bro? That was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. <laughs> no, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. So, who won the contest? Who gives a shit? Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. <laughs> It's completely different from what you were saying last night. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Yeah, for real. I'll throw up breakfast that morning. The room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. Why would you say unfortunate? So what should I do today? Who could that be? I'm wondering you would come visit. I open the door for someone and someone forced their way in. Um, okay. Hi there, I guess. Toko, what's the matter? Why are you so, so surprised? Am I really that annoying? Well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. I have a fa favor to ask. You want to go somewhere with me? Sure. And where is it you want to go? Well, to the library. Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? You're, n you're not a blabbermouth, right? It has to be a secret. Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library. Or let's go to the library. Okay, I got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? Quiet, be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. Oh, sorry. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, by himself absorbed in a book. He's here. He's here. Oh, Him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. But okay. He seems to really be focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. 
What are you doing back here? I hate even having I hate having to even look or I hate even having to look at you. Oh, so you notice me, huh? Of course. Now hurry up and leave and take her with you. Hey, uh Byakya. Remember how you said don't be a woman who dominates uh a uh, weak man, be a woman dominated by strong by a strong man? I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out. Go take a bath. You smell. Uh, don't make me say it again. Now, do now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Uh, okay. You really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Piakia. To go that far. He must be really concerned about me. That's concerning. I'm concerned about you. Huh? Tell me to take a bath and everything. He must be really care he must really care about my well being. Hey Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Piakia and I would be good together? Uh well now I really don't know. That's true. There's really no way to know. But the dis between, distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Um okay. There might come a day when you understand. Maybe someday. Well bye. Ah, uh, young love. Huh? Would you ever guess she would go for someone like him? No, I mean, kind of, but no. But eager passion can also be scare can be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. You took it right out of my mouth, bud. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll back to my room for now. What to do? Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll spend some time with he for me. Oh, Mr. Naegi, I'm glad you came. I don't know why I did that voice. Sure. Now, I look like I'm all about the cutting edge, but I have a profound love for retro games, too. Let's begin with my four-part history of electronic games. Part 1. Ancient Babylonia. I listened to Hifumi's half-obsessed ranting for longer than I would have liked. Hifumi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him? Yes, definitely. I have an idea of what he might like. Okay. Where is it? Um, yes. <laughs> I was once a ruthless umber mini niche, but Mr. Nahagi has awakened my heart through the power of friendship. May I call you my master? What is thy bidding, my master? Seeing he for me so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. I see quality in you, Mr. Naegi. True quality. And that's why I've decided to present you my lecture my lecture on the nature of fan fiction. If we're gonna become friends, you must fully be fully informed. I will permit no fanfic by by Gotri. By by Gotri? Well, bigotry whatsoever, I don't know. I don't think I have a fanfic bigotry. I mean, I don't really know anything about that kind of geeky stuff anyway. See, that's that 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 is. See, there it is. To you, fanfic equals geeky, right? But is that all the word is worth? Huh? Did I say something wrong? But that's okay because I take the word geek as a compliment. For you see, there is nobody on earth so full of knowledge as a geek. 
In a sense, Sakik is like an expert. That's right, a total expert. A successful musician must necessarily be a music geek. A good movie director is a movie geek, you see. It's those experts, those geeks, who open up the world's to world to others. So when you say that writing fanfic is geeky, you're recognizing me as a true expert, or recognizing us as true experts. Okay, so um, what exactly is fanfic then? Oof, super directly direct question. FTW! Basically, we all have different kinds of stories and events, right? Those are where groups of holy writers sell their own stuff based on games, comics, anime, everything. And the stuff people make is fanfic. Or is fanfic? Comics are the most common creation, but also includes games, music, and even merchandise. I don't know if you can see my hand there, but I was counting. By the way, is there a name for when a group of fanfic creators come together? Oh, there is a name for when a group of fanfic creators come together. Specifically, it's an organ it's any organized group that comes together to release their work. A group that comes together to release their work is a Menagerie? I mean, it could be, but I'm gonna say circle. Is it a circle? Sure is. Of course you knew that. I mean, it's only common sense. Well, yeah. I certainly hope you don't expect me to explain such common sense topics every time. But like I said, I don't know too much about this stuff. That goes well beyond I don't know too much. But I guess I can't blame you. The propaganda never touches on that. So as a fanfic ambassador, by the time I'm done with you, you'll be itching to buy premium pass to the next fanfic con. Right? Obviously, he's excited, but... That is it for today. I hope you're excited for your next lesson. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for the two of us. I'm kind of scared to see what the future has in store for the two of us. Hifumi's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. You just unlocked the skill handiwork. Give yourself a pet on the back. You've earned it. After we were done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. Just like that, it'll be nighttime. approaching but before it arrives all students please gather in the gym immediately emergent gather in the gym now why now all of a sudden i really don't like the sound of it me neither i have a terrible fe i've had a terrible feeling all episode that something's gonna happen oh you what hi Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? right? I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Right. So I'm going to go on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokumo, Monokuma tells me. Hey, Mondo. Yo. Hey, man, you about to head in? Yeah. Has everyone already gone on ahead? Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing good is going to come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Um, Mondo? You said, are you sure you're okay? You kind of went all out in that sauna. <laughs> huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. But, you know, there at the edge of hell, a promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. Who died? At least, okay, I was worried it was going to be like Mondo. Um, I'm glad it wasn't Mondo because I like Mondo. It's no. It's probably going to be like Biakia and it's just going to throw everything for a loop. That is assuming that anyone died, and we, which I am. But, hey, Hifumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? 
Mr. Naegi, don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. No, don't go. You can't go. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about this either, but we can't just ignore this. Damn, that's true, too. I guess we have no choice. I have to go, too. Asking us together all of a sudden like this, what could he possibly want? Indeed, what might await us this time? Mm. He keeps things interesting, that's for certain. How is this funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? Oh, there we go. There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in this bl in blind denial day after day. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me, remember how you keep talking about how the police or whoever would come rest help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well, Th that's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It is strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. The police suck! Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control, even of the police. Oh, this might not be related, but then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, I'm gonna say it. It's, like it's about last me. night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space, when all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? The sound. I don't really know what it was. What kind of a sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? I mean, it could just, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. Then you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Say what? Uh, met you talking about Toko? What? Hey, Monokuma. I don't like that guy. He's arrived. What Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Or maybe a machine gun, Fuhuhu. That kind that kind of sounds like constructions in a way. What are you talking about? Uh, beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why'd you call us all in here? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, if you mind, would you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching is even losing all its shine and luster. I think it's probably because of this ho -hoom. Boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation, something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Hey, the next Blacken hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey. So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is that another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You know, I don't know what you got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God, we won't. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, your permission, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's embarrassing memories and secrets. 
As long as you're alive, it's a given that there are things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating in my own and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. What what are my secrets? I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monica Mo spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly stashed the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Koto at the bed until he was in fifth grade. <laughs> what? How? How did you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your darkest, deepest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll out a crowded intersection and van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate? Yep. You got it. They're all pretty unpleasant. Trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we'd never kill over something like that. What did you say? He is right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's going to murder someone for this kind of thing. Oh, no. Is it because for the better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assume you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Oh, you're saying you really won't kill each other over stuff? Over the stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. So sad, so depressed, for not well, or fair not well. With an almost convincing look of depression, dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depth. I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged the bullet on this one. I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. Well, I don't know. We just all confess to the secrets in those envelopes right here and now. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will be will vanish. It's pretty smart, right? Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone else says. I don't want to talk about mine. Neither do I, because it is unpleasant. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Well, it's just because human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. Absolutely not. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. As I said, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Yeah. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Um, sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But I also don't want to leave things the way that they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super sad to talk about it either. If everyone is that much against, even if my bro is the one, suggest one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, then that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure no one's about to kill over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. <laughs> so, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. 
Okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but <sighs> this is a school announcement. It is now ten PM. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh. So let the bed bugs bite. I guess nighttime already, huh? Let's call it a day then. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety. I just couldn't shake it, but we lost things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Secrets and memories you don't want anyone to know about. Way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. Or at least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why without too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even they that even then a tragedy was taking place. Oh no, all I know is I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. W what are you doing here? I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates? What? Your face is all blue like someone's on the verge of death. What happened? What are you talking about? That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something happened to someone? Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Um, Makoto. Are, are you okay? Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and Byakuya? You're the only ones here. Where's everyone else? Here, they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. This something? Can't be. It has happened again? Or has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. I took everything I had to drive that thought away. Is there something really did happen? Does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Can't be that stuff was just a bunch of old... It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook? Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? Why did, didn't you say something yesterday? Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it uh, do me to get out of my way to help you? Stop saying that already. Um. There is something wrong with him for serious. Did you get brainwashed or something? That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Mm-hmm. The game's afoot! <laughs> yeah, I'll leave the area. So, would it be like in the... 
So I guess I have to look for where the martyr took place. So it's like, do I have to search the entire area? <sighs> there doesn't be, appear to be anything here. What are you doing here, Sakura? Did you find something? Oh no. Just that we said the other day must have been lurking in the back of my mind. If something has happened, the killer might try to use this to destroy evidence again. I suppose, suppose that was floating around my subconscious and it led me here. Well, I'm glad I am of some sort of influence. For better, for the worse, who knows? I guess I could check the bath. <sighs> Don't say anything over here. Yo. Hey, Makoto, honestly, what do you think? About what? About Byakuya? You think he's being brainwashed or what? I don't know. You know more about that kind of thing than me, right? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some, some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Let's say Bakoya. Let's say, huh? Ooh, sorry, it's still morning. I think you've completely misunderstood what it is that I do. Okay, listen, fortune telling is like. It's like totally different from brainwashing your hypnosis or any of that uh, pseudo-scientific bullcrap. I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience? Sorry, but I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> Could have been by the exit. I don't like this eerie music little bitty. <sighs> what was that? Oh, cool. Well, who could it have been? I mean, it could have been Celeste. Celeste seemed pretty adamant. For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Yeah, yeah. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on. And the locker rooms, they're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Suspicious? Seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering as if talking only to himself. So waiting for a reply, he plus his yeah. <sighs> In the moment, time seemed to freeze. Oh, okay. And I don't know how long it took me to fully comprehend what really was, what, uh, comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did, uh, what? oh, yes, a wild almost. Primi primi pr primival scream escaped from my mouth. Oh, boy's life. 
deadly life. Alrighty, so I guess we're going to end that episode here. We have another murder on our hands. I'm really kind of looking forward to seeing what the investigation and trial uh, has in store for us. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.